Okay, so I'm back with this vase that I threw a couple of weeks ago now. Gave it time to dry, trimmed the bottom, coated the outside with uh, three layers of black terra sigillata. So it's a very thin, thin coating of clay that's got a black pigment added to it. And now I'm going to kind of cut through that pigment to reveal the white porcelain clay underneath. And in that process, I'm gonna be creating the images that you see on the surface of my pots. So you can't really see it, but I've got a very light design kind of sketched onto the surface. I used a rubber tool to do that, which just leaves a really faint line on the surface without actually disrupting any of the, the terra sigillata that I'll be cutting through. So I've got a number of different tools that I'm using to cut into, uh, to cut into the uh, the pigment that I was talking about and cut through it. And I'm gonna be sharpening those tools many, many times as I'm doing this process. So that'll give you a sense of the first line that I cut. This is gonna be one of the little leaf forms that I've been doing in this image that has uh, some leaves, some vines, a few sunbursts in it. So I'll just do one more of these lines and then we'll come back a little bit farther into the process and kind of see how that image has started to develop. Thanks. All right, so we're back. I've done a lot more uh, incising on this pot. So I've got quite a bit of the uh, the rest of the image kind of mapped out on the surface. I incised much the same way as I was just doing. So using different kind of sharp-ended tools and um, various templates some of the time to get this image in place. So I'll use a compass to get some of the circular areas and that kind of thing. So I've got a number of different tools that I use, like I was talking about, that are you know fairly sharp and they're just gonna scrape away at the surface. And to keep these sharp, I'm gonna be using a little bit of sandpaper during the process just to reestablish that sharp edge. But basically once I've got that as sharp as I want, I'm gonna to start to very gently scrape away at some of that uh, terra sigillata. And like I was talking about, that exposes the clay underneath. So I'm doing this on a really dry pot. It does create some dust. And so I'm just gonna do a little bit more of this before stopping, I've got a spray booth that I use while I'm actually working on these in the studio. It's a little noisy, so I don't have it going right at the moment. But before I go too much farther, I'm gonna go back, put this pot back in the spray booth. I'm resting it on a piece of foam rubber that's covered with a very soft cloth. That's also helping to protect the piece um, during this process. But basically it's just, it takes quite a while to do this. It takes a few hours generally. I really enjoy the process, so I really don't mind spending that much time on each piece, but I'm not going to expect anyone to sit and watch me do the entire thing. So for now, just kind of take a look at the pot uh, the way it is, and we'll come back. I'll you know do a little bit more of this video in an hour or two when I've got uh, the design pretty well underway. Thanks. Okay, so I've got this area pretty much filled in with uh, you know, the carving that I did, the incising. So this has got that kind of sunburst pattern I was talking about. I'm gonna be doing the same thing over here, but I think this gives a pretty good idea of what this process is all about. You know, it takes quite a while, but um, the results are really interesting. You know, when I was in school, I was equally interested in sculpture and printmaking and 
this seemed like a really good way to my way of thinking of combining those two interests. So I've got a two-dimensional image on a three-dimensional form. So anyway, thank you for watching and thanks for your interest in my work. Bye-bye.